The last thing on our minds was war breaking out, which was exactly what happened when Russia invaded Ukraine on the 24th of February 2022. Russia overnight launched its long-anticipated attack on Ukraine. Starting in the city of Kiev, there has been uh, reports of explosions. Of Russian tanks entering Ukrainian territory. Now, one of the biggest questions on everyone's minds is, how does this impact the local property market? Today, we are going to be looking at the impact of war on the Singapore property market. We'll be looking at conflicts that happened to Singapore in the past and how that actually impacts local property prices. To help us understand this better, let's first have a look at the Singapore property market between 1975 and 2020. In 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. Actives in Kuwait. We don't stand a chance if we don't get aid from our friends. And we realized that there was zero impact on the market's prices. Compared to May 1996, when there was a stamp duty surcharge resulting in a dip in Singapore's property prices. From this, it's clear that the dips in the local property market were due to non-military conflicts over the years. But the conflict does lead us to something more worrying, construction costs. Here we have a look at construction prices crude oil prices and steel reinforcement prices. We can see that even before the war, the costs were increasing rapidly. Now this shows that the construction cost is likely to continue increasing whether the Ukraine-Russia war drags on or not. And if it does, it will accelerate the rate of increase as Russia supplies 20% of the world's high-grade nickel and is the globe's third biggest exporter in oil. More immediately, Singaporeans are already feeling the impact of the war on the cost of living. Russia is the major exporter of oil and gas, and now that supply is being disrupted. And that's why our electricity and petrol prices have gone up sharply. Now we've seen both these prices skyrocket since the war began. And while this might mean heftier prices for aspiring homeowners, it would also mean that developers would be more sensitive in pricing their projects. Now if the Ukraine-Russia war does drag on, then we know that inflation will continue to be on the rise. Now to tame this, the Fed will have to implement interest rate hikes as we have seen over the past few months. However, it is likely that they'll do this gradually as an aggressive hike would essentially mean the US paying off most of its debt through its national budget, something which is highly unlikely. As a result, central banks will raise their home loan interest rates, essentially meaning that homeowners now have a higher mortgage repayment to fulfill. Naturally, against this uncertain outlook, aspiring homeowners are likely to stay on the sidelines until the storm passes, resulting in lower demand for housing. In fact, it would be no surprise if we see them redirecting their funds to safe havens such as gold and bonds. In light of this, here are some tips that you can take note of when purchasing property during this period. To ensure your property sees healthy capital appreciation, it would make sense to invest your money in a part of town where urban transformation is taking place, essentially because the government is injecting a ton of resources into that area. Consider Twinview for example, which has recorded impressive profits for first owners who have sold their homes as well as robust rental yield. Number two, avoiding the last plot of land in the area that you're buying into. To break this down, imagine there are three plots of land under the government land sales program. Say you buy into the first or second plot of land when they are launched for sale. Naturally, their future prices will be elevated because that last piece of land tends to be a little bit pricier. And lastly, purchase a property close to a popular primary school. Now this point is pretty self-explanatory. Good primary schools are in high demand. This typically results in properties located near such schools to command a premium, including the two examples shown right here, located within one kilometer of Nanhua Primary and CHIJ San Nicholas Girls School. Now, all that said and done, at this point in time, it's still hard to say how the conflict in Ukraine will evolve over the next few weeks and months. On our local property front, however, we are fortunate that Singapore has an ever-adaptable regulatory housing regime. The recent cooling measures and those that came before is a good example of how these measures prevent housing prices from spiraling out of control. That means that even if we are facing a military conflict elsewhere, we can always go back to the fundamentals and reevaluate our property plans. Well, thanks again for joining me today. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Now do leave a comment below telling us how we can improve 
approve uh, topics you maybe would like to see in future episodes. And of course, give us that like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.